Uh, hey guys, Jace here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do good Twixter settings in Sony Vegas. Right, so what you want to do is open up Sony Vegas 10. Um, yeah, this only works on Sony Vegas 10, not 9 or 8. Must be the latest version of Sony Vegas. I don't know why, but yeah. Uh, okay, so drag your clip in, and then right-click properties, maintain aspect ratio, and disable recycle. Make sure you disable resample, it's very important, otherwise when you add your Twixter, it will make it stuff up majorly. I don't know why. Um, so click on your audio, press U to unlink it, delete it, because when you do Twixter, you cannot use audio, I don't know why. Well, I do, it will fuck it up majorly. Um, go down to Twixter. Go. Um, okay, so come down here on your timeline, I guess we could call it, and go back to where you want your Twixter to start. So I'm gonna want to start here. So hit S, and then use your arrow keys to go across, and then hit S there again. And this is our little spot where we're gonna be adding the Twixter to it. And then I'm also going to do some here uh, so add that there ok we're gonna shift shift drag these along um, ok the I'll show you the settings for Twixter here so what we've got is Twixted output, which is display is on Twixted output. Display layer is all. Draw geom. I think that's how you say it. Is ticked. Time remap speed. Speed is on seven. Frame zero. Track quality burst. BG motion sensors on eighty. Image prep none. Catch opt flow is ticked. Frame interp blend warping inverse. Smart blend ticked. MB compense zero. Mark seg cut A start frame is on zero and last frame is on that number. I don't know what it is. Yep, that's pretty much default. Whenever you start a new set of settings, and just come up the top here and just call it whatever you want. Mine's called OG. I don't know why. Just done it a while ago. And yeah, so once you've dragged that on to there, yep. Um, if you got this in the timeline. You can see it moves pretty slow. So what you want to do is just drag it out and try and match it up with where you want it to stop. And mine is right where it's about to scope in, so I have to drag these back even more. So just keep pulling it out. Um, that's not where it's up to. Okay, I think this is where we want it to. Okay, let's cut that there. And then Sorry if my computer lags, it's just it can't handle when it has a lot of shit open. I don't know why. So yep, that looks good. Um, and then come over to the zoom out as well. Um, so drag the setting you saved onto it, just like you did with them. But this time you've actually saved your settings, so you won't have to put them all in again. Um, uh, do the same with this, just drag it out. And you can play around with the speeds if you want, if you want slower or faster. But I would, would end up going under about 6, or about 5 to 7 is the lowest I'd recommend. Because anything below that is pretty slow. And it can look bad sometimes. Um, just try and get where you want it to stop. 
stop where the bolt goes right back into the gun. And now my Sony Vegas is lagging like a bitch. Um, keep dragging this out, just finally you want it to stop. And I don't know why it does that, it just fucks me off. Okay. Once again, use your arrow keys to find where you want it to stop. If you watch over here, it likes to lag for me. I don't know why. It's a bitch. Yeah, we'll cut that to do. That's pretty well matched up, I think. And you can see, there's the hand fading. Down into there, so... That's it, really. Just add your other stuff to it, and that's it really for today. Um, I'll leave the that I've done in a previous edit with the setting in. It's got a lot of other effects in it as well. Um, yeah, comment, rate, subscribe, uh, leave a comment, tell me what other tutorials you'd like me to do. And yeah, thanks. See you later guys.